Hi there guys, Gerdi here, their greatly coach. So I work with women just like you, successful but unhappy in your career, under a mountain of stress, always working and sick and tired of being tired all the time, of not living a real life anymore. And what I do is I guide you back, I help you back to that point in, in your life where you can live your own life again, where you get out from under a mountain of stress, design your own life map and start blazing your own trail again. Now, I have found that many of my clients uh, want this change from where they are now in their lives to living their own life again. They want that change to happen overnight. And that's unfortunately for most of us, not how it works. What happens usually is that it is small steps. You take one step at a time and gradually you get back on track. You get back to that trail that you want to blaze in life, that life that you want to live. It's sort of like uh, taking up the violin. There's only very few people, and I don't think I've ever heard of somebody who can take up a violin, never having seen such an instrument or ever having touched su such an instrument and start playing on it. Most, of, most people who take up the violin will have to take a lot of lessons and gradually get better at it. It is similar with um, making changes in your life. You probably have been living your life a certain way for such a long time that a lot of the behaviors that, you, uh, that got you where you are now are ingrained in you. You don't think of them about them anymore, you don't do them consciously, you just do them. And when you start making changes, you will find that at the beginning especially, you will fall back into old behavior. You need practice to learn this, um, this new thing or relearn that old thing of living your own life. You can also compare it to, um, if you've ever played sports, you can compare it to changing your technique when you play tennis or, or golf or f uh, soccer or American football or whatever your sport is. I used to play tennis and um, I remember when I had to change something about my backhand, for example, the grip or the, the way I swung my racket. It would be fine during training when I was consciously working on it. And then when I played a match, I would fall back into my old backhand, which wasn't really working for me. And when I then looked at what I had been doing and when I analyzed why it didn't work, I realized that I had slipped back into my old techni technique. So the next time I played a match, I was a bit more conscious and my backhand would be a little bit better and then I would fall back again into my old technique. The same happens to me with skiing. I, I have learned how to ski in the olden days where skis were still very straight and you had to ski with your knees together and these days but the, the uh, car skis or the, 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 the skis that we have now, you have to skis with, ski with your legs apart. And even now when it gets more difficult or when I'm not, um, when I have to stretch my abilities, my knees come together and I ski in the old fashioned way. Even, even though I'm a ski instructor myself and know how to do it, I'm, you know, after all these years, every now and again, I fall back into old technique. That's how it is when you start making changes in your life as well, especially when you've been going at it for a while, not at the making changes, but at life. And make no mistake, after 10 years in living a certain way, behavior is ingrained. So it's not just after 20 or 30 years, it's you don't need that much time to have it ingrained in you. So when you want to change the way you live your life, start by, first of all, start by making ch small changes. Once you've figured out how you want to live your life, start by making small changes. Take one, pick one. As if you're working on your technique in a certain sport or in a, when you play an instrument and start practicing that one, you'll find you fall back into old behavior every now and again, especially around loved ones, because they know which buttons to push. And before you know it, you 
do something the way you've always done it, even though you want to, you've decided to do differently. And when you find that you're in old behavior or that um, uh, certain alarm bells for you are ringing, analyze what you're doing and you'll, f you'll figure it out. You'll find what, what you did differently than you wanted it to do, wanted to do it. And when you do that, the difference now is, is that you're conscious of what you did um, and that you're conscious of not doing what you had set out to do. And that means when you're conscious, that means that you can react, respond differently the next time around. And it will get better. And at one point, some, at some point in time, you will find that you don't have to think about it anymore, that you simply have um, made that new behavior that you were trying to um, make your own, have actually made that your own. And that's now your default behavior. So changing your life, in my experience, is not something that happens overnight, unless there's some dramatic event. For most of us, for you likely, it's not going to be an overnight event. It is a slow process or it is a, at least a process of small changes. So don't despair. Don't despair when you find yourself falling back into old behavior. That's perfectly normal. That's perfectly fine. Just acknowledge the fact that it's happening. Acknowledge the fact that you're conscious. And get up and do it over. You'll get it. I know you will. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.